it's mid afternoon towards the end of February the Sun is on the wall panels and it's just these things on behind the cloud isn't that typical and all the other panels are generated including the gate and the trailers so let's have a look what changes have happened in the battery shed so the stecker is working away it's now got eight panels attached to it which is eight of the ten that are on the gate I wanted to put all ten on but it's a maximum of 40 amps and I don't believe in driving things towards their maximum so each panel is about 8 amps so we've got four pairs 4 8 32 so what other changes have we got down here all the trailers are now through that circuit and what I've done if we can just go up to the connections we've actually got an output from this now because that's a changeover relay that cable there goes to the storage heater so when this disconnects the panels panel voltage and current is diverted to the storage heater and these capacitors are across that other set of contacts so what else is happening I've taken the door temporarily off the charge controller box and the charge controller is just clicked out and back on again and next to it we've installed the timer relay let's just move the camera so there's the stage one as I call it now that's the original and next to it is the voltage detecting timer relay and it's got two circuits in there and it's very important that both of those circuits are tuned correctly I think I need to do a drawing about this so you can get a full idea of what's going on so let's just check the specific gravity ah can you see that air coming in there that just shows that the, the electrolyte wants topping up but it's fully charged at just on the line of the green but we're going to top up so this is water um, collected from the dehumidifiers that should be about enough about half a litre and they just go along and top them up you get the idea so the sun's just come out so stage one has switched and so has stage two see the little LED there and so the only power that's going into the batteries now because these charge controllers have been triggered by voltage is that that goes through the stecker and we're still fairly high volts 55 volts let's just see what the steckers do and that's just switched back off and the volts go up and then they go down and the inverter's running and the charge controller's on as you can see and it is 3.40 in the afternoon isn't that amazing about six or seven weeks ago it would have been pitch black outside now so we're really into the power and it just goes to show how it changes so rapidly so we're into lots of power all the way through now until about November so it's quite a grey day 
it's the day following on from the very sunny day yesterday and I'm facing due south there and that's what it looks like it's sort of high grey cloud a bit cotton woolly let's have a look what's happening in the battery shed and it's midday and there we are a bit less than 30 amps about one and a half kilowatt and the charge controller is not working at the moment so that's full current going in there and of course the turbine is doing nothing because we've got very light winds now just as an update on one or two extra bits and pieces I did say yesterday I'll do some drawings on this charge controller and the storage heaters I think that will have to be a separate video because otherwise this video will be too long and the other thing is that the tracking gate seems to be going very slow well, what's going on has the chain come off or anything like that no um, but volts were low so let's just have a look down here zoom out down there and the slave battery the one that was there was a sealed one car battery bearing in mind it's only a trickle charge and then when the timers come on the trackers come on uh, it draws a bit more current however it was duff it had seen its time out and I think it had been in the workshop for a few years before I started using it so I've changed it for this other one and now the tracking gate is running at about the right speed so another update just goes to show nothing stands still and there's just an interesting bit here on the slave battery there we go this is the positive terminal now this red wire comes from the main battery pack through a light bulb as a resistance that cuts down the current and therefore pulls the voltage down now if we were to put this which is the feed to the trackers and some of the charge controllers on there then if there was a duff connection down here we could get 48 volts or even up to 60 volts going straight to the charge controllers and the timers so therefore that would do them no end of mischief but here we've got this connected to the terminal and then the output connected to the terminal again separately so the only way you could get um, full battery volts through to this would be if there was a serious breakdown in the cell so it's a sort of safer way of doing things and another update on the cider here we go some of it's bottled up and it's quite clear so we'll see what this tastes like in the summer